Question banks allow you to create a repository of test questions in a resource area. You can create question banks in personal or in group resources. To create a question bank, click on the resources area on the top menu and select the option for personal or group resources. You can create a new collection for your bank or nest it inside an existing one. I want to create a collaborative bank that all of my 10th grade English colleagues can add questions to, so I will click on group and then find the name of my group to create the question bank here. There are three existing question banks in our group as noted by the question banks icon. To create a new bank, click on the add resources button and select the option to add question bank. Enter a name for the question bank and optional description. It is best practice to make your question banks very granular or specific. For example, creating a question bank for adding fractions is preferable to having a bank that is simply titled math or even just fractions. Many teachers elect to create banks by specific standard or by specific skill or topic. This gives you better control when creating assessments from the banks. Click create to complete. If your bank is in a shared collection or group resource area, anyone with permission to write or add content to the group or collection will be able to contribute questions to the bank. You can add questions to your bank either by creating them from scratch or by copying in questions from an existing test or quiz. To create a question from scratch, click on the name of the bank and use the add question button to create your questions. If you have questions you've already written that you wish to add to the bank, Simply navigate to the course with your existing quiz questions. Click on the test or quiz whose questions you'd like to save in your question bank. To add an individual question to the question bank, click on the gear to the right of the question and choose Add to Bank. If you want to add several questions from this quiz to a question bank, use the Options button and choose Add Questions to Bank. Use the Select All option to select or deselect all questions and use the box next to each question to deselect any question that you do not want to be banked. Choose Next and select the destination bank where you want these questions to go, or you can create a new bank from here. Click Add Questions to Complete. Your questions have now been added to your bank. Once you have added questions to question banks in Schoology, you can easily build tests or quizzes from the banks. Simply navigate to the course where you want to create a quiz from your question banks. Choose the Add Materials button to create a new quiz. And now select the Add Questions button and choose From Question Banks. You can add individual questions from a question bank or you can add a random selection of questions from the bank. Individual questions are those all students will receive on the quiz whereas the random option will randomly select a certain number of questions from the selected bank. Let's explore the individual questions option first. Navigate to the resource area where your bank lives and select the name of the bank. You can select all questions or even have Schoology auto select a few for you. I will manually choose three questions from this bank that I want added to my quiz. Once selected, you can assign question points manually or have Schoology set all points for you. Points can of course be adjusted later in the quiz itself as needed. Once your questions are selected, choose the Add Questions button. You will see all three selected questions added to your new quiz in your course. Now let's explore the Random Question option. Again, select Add Question and choose From Question Banks. This time select Random Questions. Navigate to your desired bank and put a check mark by the name of the bank and choose Select Question Banks. There are 11 questions in this bank. Decide how many of those 11 questions that you want randomly selected and how many points each will be worth. Then choose Add Questions. Instead of seeing specific individual questions, you will see that a random question set has been added to your test. This means that for questions four through six, students will receive three random questions pulled from the indefinite pronouns question bank. Because these questions are pulled randomly, each student will get a different combination of questions, and if students are allowed to take the assessment more than once, they will get different questions from the bank on each attempt. This is in contrast to questions one through three that are fixed and that all students will receive on each quiz attempt. If you edit the random question set, you can adjust the number of questions being pulled from the bank and the point values for each question, but you cannot edit specific questions. You would need to return to the question bank to do that. 
In contrast, you can edit the individual questions that you added from the bank, and this will not affect the content of the question in the bank it came from. Blending individual and random question sets gives each student a unique set of questions. This is helpful in maintaining the validity of your quiz results and gives students different questions on the same skills if you will allow for multiple attempts. Now let's return to resources to explore other question bank options. Question banks can be copied or moved to a different area using the gear icon next to each bank's name. Also, when you select the gear icon, you will see an option to enable question tracking. This feature allows you to track each question in the bank after they are added to a quiz or course. Tracked questions are assigned an associated question ID that appears in the downloaded CSV file when an instructor exports quiz results. This question ID will be the same for all instructors using that question, allowing the results to be compared easier across courses. You will need to export quiz data and manually manipulate it for comparison in an outside program like Excel using the common question IDs. Also, please be aware that when a question bank has the enable question tracking feature enabled, the questions in that bank will become locked once used in at least one test or quiz. You will not be able to edit the questions within the bank or within the quiz or test itself. This feature helps guarantee accurate tracking of questions used in tests and quizzes. But since tracked questions cannot be edited once they are used in a quiz, make sure to carefully check the questions in the question bank for any errors before enabling question tracking. Question tracking can only be disabled on a question bank if none of the questions inside the bank have been used in any course quiz. Click on the gear to the right of the question bank and click Disable Question Tracking. Question banks allow you to create a repository of test questions in your resources. Question banks empower instructors to collaborate in quiz creation and sharing and enable individual instructors to create dynamic assessments within their courses.